Now we're going to look at matter and classifying matter. When we talk about matter, we're talking about anything that has mass. Matter can exist in various forms. We think of these forms as solid, liquid, and gas. When we look at solids, liquids, and gases, these are called different phases of matter. For solids, the molecules are packed close together. Liquids, they're a little bit farther apart. And gases, the molecules are very far apart. Substances can transition between these phases, and when we look at the transition between solid and liquid, liquid and solid, we call those transitions freezing and melting. When we look at a transition between liquid and gas, we call these transitions evaporating and condensing. In some circumstances, we can also have a transition between solid and gas, or gas and solid, and those are called sublimation or deposition. Note that these are physical changes. We're not changing the substance. When we melt water, we still have water. When we melt ice, we still have H2O. We have the same molecule, but it's in a solid form or a liquid form, whether it's ice or water. Physical changes involve changes in state or phase, or changes in its form, but it doesn't produce a new substance. It's the same elements or compounds that were present in the beginning and the end. Some of the examples include ice melting. We have H2O in both cases, but it's in solid form or liquid form. Or a second example where we have these aluminum cans. Here we have aluminum metal, and we're going to crush them. So it's still aluminum metal, and these are still cans, but they're in a different form. This is a physical change, it's not a chemical change. When we talk about chemical changes, we're talking about making a substance that wasn't there before. Some of these reactions can be identified because they involve light, heat, color change, gas production, odor, or sound. An example of a chemical change is something like wood burning. Here we started with wood that's primarily made up of carbon, and now our products at the end will be carbon dioxide and water. We can also look at something like nails rusting. This is a chemical change. In the beginning, we have iron metal as an element. And after the chemical reaction of rusting, we have an iron oxide, which is a compound. Another example of a chemical change is the oxidation reaction that occurs when food turns brown with exposure to oxygen.